In this video, we're going to go over the operation of an off-delay timer. The first thing to really look at is going to be the diagram and having to interpret. So what you see is on the 2 and the 10, that's going to be where the coil is, what you need to energize to keep everything timing and operational. You look over to the left, you see the 1 is normally closed with 4 and normally open with 3. Same thing with a contact point 11 is closed with 8 and open with 9. Well, how does this thing work? You have an external control switch that once you close that the circuit and provide energy in, that it'll actually alter the state closing from the 1 to the 3 and then opening the contacts from the 1 to the 4. The important difference between the off delay timer versus the on delay timer, the off delay timer doesn't start timing until you open up the external control switch. So let's go ahead and look at this for a demonstration. I'm going to provide my neutral wire in to complete the circuit to start. I'm going to hook up the 120 volt supply of energy into the opposite side of the coil to the 10. I want to demonstrate the use of the contacts at the number one position take power into number one from a constant source of energy so we can see the lights and we're going to hook up the closed set of contacts to the red light and the open set of contacts to the green light. Now that's going over all of the different connections as it pertains to the coil and to the actual contacts to control the light. Now we need to add in the external control switch. It shows it's between the fifth and sixth pin through an open set of contacts. That's how we're going to, or that's the contacts we're going to uh, energize to complete the circuit. I'm going to take. from the 5 in to what I'm going to use as a open set of contacts and then to complete the circuit okay I'm going to energize the circuit oh and the neutral for the light. All right, in its resting state, the energy is flowing from the one to the four, and that's where we have our uh, red light hooked up. The green light will be when we push the three. The important part is to focus on the contacts. You'll see that once I close the contacts up here, that the output is on. It's just waiting. Once I open the contacts here, it starts timing, and once it times out, it goes back to its resting state. Let's see it again. So I'm going to close the contacts, the contact shift position. Nothing has occurred yet. I'm still holding the button. The difference between the off delay versus the on delay timer if this was an on delay, it would have already started timing. Right now, it's not timing. Once you release the input or open the circuit, it starts timing. If you want to re-complete the circuit, you'll notice it. I didn't allow it to time out. And then it's just in its resting state again. It's waiting to start timing. When you open up the contacts right here, then you'll see that it's going to start timing and I have it set at three seconds. We open it up, timing, and now your red light's back on. 
Let's say it one more time because it's really important to know that it's the opposite of the on delay starts timing when it gets the circuit, when it completes it and it starts counting, but the off delay doesn't. So I'm going to actually increase the time by a couple seconds so we could notice what I mean about re-completing the circuit of the external control switch. Close it, and now the output's on. It, it's just waiting to start timing as soon as those contacts open up the circuit. Open it up, it starts timing. In the meantime, if I want to restart the timing or reset the timing process, I reclose the circuit up here. Once you start, once you take away the, the you open up that circuit, it's going to start timing again. So here it goes. Pay attention. This goes open and this starts timing. And that's the basics for an off delay timer.